at the second antenna tower. The fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Kristoff. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. What the fuck do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. worth it.
This thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem. Second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Raheem? The antennas. Bracken told me. Communication is crystal clear now. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since... whatever. See you back at the tower. Wants to know. My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, Please, don't hesitate to ask.
Job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that Antizen. Not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. All right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. How much this time? Ah, my friend. Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? Can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try. So this time he wants me to gather protection money from the surrounding settlements. And after this, he better hand over the drugs. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. 
Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, crane out. Sometimes you'd hear a voice that sounded like a person. So you'd go in. Only it turned out it was a viral. All angry and crazy. Just enough voice left to fool you. Sometimes you weren't alone. The suits are pretty tough. They're PVC with reinforced double-layered poly fiber cord. We thought we were safe. It turned out the biters could chew right through it. Sometimes I see some of my old squad shambling around. It gets me down to see them like that. You know the funny thing? They're all biters now, but they can't bite. Because they don't have the brains to take off their masks. I'll tell you, this whole thing is pretty damn strange. By the wheel station. Took you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rice sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next, you collect a tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. Crane, how you doing, mate? I'm... I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon.
Kareem, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge, bloated infect that just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't, I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. All right, you'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Garsel. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So, clear them out. We get paid for protection. closed before more of those fuckers get inside.
Who is it? I'm looking for someone in charge here. Rice sent me. Oh, you want Gussel? Check the big house in the center of the village. He lives upstairs. Just be careful around his woman. She's had on wheels. Uh, thanks. Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You'll draw the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rise. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more frickin' tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Furkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Furkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Furkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Hey. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? Well, there was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess? I know exactly how they got in. That masked nutjob soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. He's crazy in the head. So he wears a gas mask all the time, like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the husp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy. Are you? What do you want? I'm Crane. Well, what are you doing in here? What am I doing? What am I doing? My name's Tobias, and I'm designing weapons. Zombie killing weapons. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. I guess I'll just uh, just leave you to it then. No, no. Wait. Wait. Don't go. Don't go. Listen. I've almost finished an ultra weapon of monster destruction. All it needs is some fine tuning, and you can help with that.